finish mapping out all my goals. So now to make sure I stay accountable to these goals and but just so I'm just not making goals to make goals, let's actually make sure I stay accountable. So I bought this desk map. Ugh, you know how messy my desk is. I need to clean. So I found this at Target. So it's nothing fancy. It's just an 18 month desk planner. So then I could see it every time I look at my desk. So let's go ahead and open this and set it up. And I'll, I didn't really show you guys. No, I showed you guys my notion and how like I broke everything down. So now that the I have projects and milestones, I actually need to put them on a calendar and make sure that I'm held accountable every week. Because that's the only way that we're going to move the project. Because if I don't give it a definite deadline, I feel like we will take forever to do it. Okay, so once I started mapping out my goals, I realized it's a little bit harder than I thought, but it's okay. At least now every project I have has a home, and then I even color coded it. So this is like my little color code key, because I realized once I started writing things out, it started looking a little cluttered. I also don't have the best handwriting, but to me it's not about how aesthetic it is, it's about getting shit done. So now I know exactly which day is my big goal that I need to accomplish, and you can see that there's like three goals on one day, it's because they're like, I know the low level um, tasks that won't take very much time and I can knock it out on one day. So a big project for us I'll share is understanding our business numbers and how we can keep growing because if you don't know your numbers you can't really grow. One of my biggest goals for this month is understanding our numbers because with inflation the cost of goods have really increased and really um, really increased and hurt our bottom line. We made more money last year yet we still brought home the same as the year previous so inflation is no joke. Everything has just gone up across the board so I need to one of my priorities is understanding our business numbers and seeing where we can cut costs without like passing on to the consumer which is you guys. So that's super important to me and what can we bring in house? What can we do to offset these costs while still growing as a business because that's super important. So numbers are very important in keeping a business running and because we want to run profitable profitable lead so then we can actually provide for our team and ourselves because this is our livelihood because then what's the point of doing all this if we're just running ourselves into the ground so hopefully this helps you guys this is how i finished out all mapping so from vision planning to manifesting to goals to actually putting it on a physical paper so i know exactly what day i'm doing what and what my main priority that day is on top of everything else i do so this would be my guiding light to know exactly what's the priority each day and I know I'm going to feel way more accomplished once I actually can knock out this. So I'll report back at the end of the weekend to reflect and see how I fe actually feel about this. What you see me doing is painting on concrete. So I never want to show this process because I always am afraid of getting knocked off. But honestly, F it. I have been knocked off so many times before. The reason why we don't dye our concrete is because you have to have dedicated molds for each color because it dyes the mold itself and molds are very expensive um we get odds from another small business they help make all the molds but they can run us anywhere from like fifty dollars to a hundred i think our most expensive mold is 125 dollars a mold so we only have maybe 25 to 50 molds per each body type and so to create a stream of production we do have to have be able I think it's easier to consistently make just concrete and then paint them when necessary here's another um tuesday reality check we don't actually have people working every single day um everyone's school schedule was a little wonky this semester so we only have our concrete person and kendall is in house editing right now and it's be me and kyle packaging we're just super flexible, but we also don't want to hire more people just for one day when I know that in the summertime, everyone's schedule frees up. So just a little extra hours until the semester is done. And so right now I'm just touching up all the bodies and 
And if you want to copy us, feel free to. Painting is just a little bit easier. All co colors, all cups are made. Oh, for all brands. Another reality check is that I definitely don't have it all together. Some days I f am so sure of myself and what I'm doing. And some days I have no idea what the hell I'm doing at all. Days I want to take on the world and I feel like I can do it all. And then some days I just want to sleep. Like, I actually woke up at 4 a.m. today because of anxiety. I could not sleep at all last night. I just had so much on my mind and so much that I feel like I have yet to do. I'm tired and I'm motivated and I'm an oxymoron in itself. I think what triggered me in my anxiety last night was because the Target Accelerator program was open. So for founders and takeoffs. So Target founders and Target takeoffs is to help brands really get into mass retailers like target but one of the questions that i hate that everyone always asks is like what makes you different why are you so special why should you be accepted and honestly i don't feel like i'm anything special i just feel like i'm a person i made it this far because i'm just a person who's willing to do hard, the hard work and put in the time and effort it takes to build a brand and a business and maybe that's just me being very self-deprecating but that is my mood right now. I just don't know what makes me special, JG special enough to be accepted. I wish I had the answer. And one of the other things they ask, and this is the other question that I'm like, I literally have no idea, is what name your three competitors? And the reason why they ask this question is like, a brand should be aware of their competitors and be mindful of who, what the market looks like, which I understand that question to a certain extent. But I'll be honest and say that I don't pay attention to competitors because I'm honestly just way too freaking busy trying to get all the things done to worry about who's doing what. And when I look at new products, I don't look at, I look at like Pinterest and trend reports and I look at designer reports. And I, will, I do look at other products that's on the market like from mass retailers like Clean Barrel, CB2, Siri McGee and stuff like that. But I don't really look at other small businesses unless they come across my feet somehow and that's mainly because a long time ago I learned that I am very competitive I used to be very competitive and I also had a really bad comparison bias where I felt like well if, how are they doing so well and I feel like I'm failing which is not fair to say at all because what they show on social media is the same as me it's all I'm just living my best life with a mic. This is my newest accessory. It looks so weird, but it's okay. Oh, and Kai and I are matching today. Everyone has really told us how we matched. I don't know, you can see it. There you go, you can see it now. It's like a different shade, but in this light, it looks so, like, so similar. Oh yeah, see, you can see it's a different shade, so we're not exactly alike, but we're also wearing black pants and Crocs the new uniform at JG.